hello everyone welcome to another video and in this video i want to show you a series of uh, scripts which are related to the creation of the tiles so i just wanted to play a little bit with uh, different dimensions of tiles and with uh, different materials uh, in order to see how those tiles will look uh, when we complete some bedroom and also i want to know before i buy uh, tiles I wanted to know how many of those tiles I need um, before I go and purchase uh, so in order to create all those tiles like a full finish I could uh, do it manually but uh, it will take a lot of time to see how those tiles will uh, take a look for different dimensions so uh, instead of doing everything manually I did choose to create a couple of uh, dynamo scripts and uh, those scripts can help you like with maybe 80 percent of the total work uh, related with the creation of the tiles but um, from uh, some point you will need to go uh, and adjust uh, some things manually so uh, this is like uh, at the end what is the uh, look of those tiles and if we extend this a little bit, those tiles go to the ceiling and um, the script will create uh, different types for different dimensions. So like the main dimension which I did choose to go with is uh, 600 with 200 millimeters and from there uh, in around some corners you will have also some different dimensions. And all of those dimensions and all of those types uh, Dynamo can create uh, automatically. But uh, from uh, the design which will Dynamo create, uh, it can happen and it will happen that you will not uh, see the position of all those tiles to be as you want it to be. So from there you will need to go a little bit and adjust some things manually. So now let's delete all those tiles. So this is what we have at the beginning. So uh, we have plumbing fixtures, doors, windows, uh, I don't know, this wall over here, couple of lights uh, and those humans and that's it. So I will show you also those scripts, you can adjust them uh, to, to work for some different uh, tile styles and with uh, some different gap. I did took to have a gap between the tiles like 3 millimeters. So this is the result from this first script, that is a script which will create wall tiles and uh, it will have some pattern. You can see over here I didn't like what uh, Dynamo took over here, so I did split uh, over here to have a gap, but this is what Dynamo did suggested. And automatically the script did generate all those sub uh, types of uh, the family. And because for the wall types I can have different materials, uh, over here Dynamo chose randomly some different materials. Now we will fix that. And okay, we did assign materials. Now this looks like uh, what we did have for the final results. Over here, uh, initially, so the script will just generate the tiles. It doesn't uh, take a look of the walls and the doors. Uh, we will have uh, this, uh, this script over here, which will find the elements in clash. So over here, we cannot see the window. Over here we did also block the door and one 
uh, one little thing which is not executed over here are those tiles which need to cover this portion of the wall. So now I did uh, run this script which will uh, highlight the elements which uh, are in the clash. Uh, and if we go for the moment to the shaded, uh, in the shaded mode we can see uh, which tiles are uh, having a collision with some other elements. Over here we basically have a collision between some plumbing fixtures, also this cabinet over here. That is okay, over here we can see that we have a collision with uh, the door. Uh, what is interesting, we will not see a collision over here where we have, let's say in quotes, collision with uh, a window. Why? Because actually we did, when we did generate those tiles, we did block that window, but uh, actually we don't have a collision between uh, the tiles and uh, the window. So that is why uh, those uh, tiles are not uh, colored in red. But anyway, we can see over here that we need to delete those couple of uh, tiles. Also this tile over here. Or maybe for this tile we do not need to uh, delete that for that tile we can just create a new type of the tile with some uh, different dimension and that's it for those tiles everything over here it is okay but for uh, those 10 or more tiles near to the door uh, we will need to delete those couple of tiles And for those other tiles, we will need to change uh, dimension and to create new types. So it is not like the script will uh, create automatically uh, all the types that you need. You will need to uh, review uh, what you did receive from the Dynamo and then to adjust a little bit uh, those uh, tiles dimensions. So when you uh, see where you have uh, a collision between the tiles and different elements, you will review that, uh, you will create new types, and then you will need to reset those colors. So you will not have marked uh, no more those tiles with the collisions. Uh, I will run the script. For those floor tiles, uh, you will need just to set uh, a material. Usually you will have a good, and also let's reset the color. Usually you will have good pattern and uh, good uh, distribution of those tiles. Again over here I did change uh, because I wanted to have for the wall tiles gap uh, in the middle. That is why also I did change a little bit uh, dimensions and the position of those tiles over here. Okay. Uh, and finally I did create all those tiles in order to uh, get to know the tiles area. And it is automatically run. So for the floor tiles we need to have like, let's say if we round that like 5 square meters for the floor tiles and for the wall tiles we have two different uh, types of materials so we will need to have 17 or 80 uh, square meter of tiles, you will need to have some extra tiles uh, in case that some tile broke or when you cut them maybe it will, it will break so uh, again over here also for this like wood tiles material you will need to have like six square meters uh, and okay now I will just show you those scripts in 
this first uh, script is probably the most complicated script uh, and again let's go a little bit over here we didn't have those tiles I will run the script so the thing what the script will actually do uh, the script will pick up uh, that room boundary and uh, it will offset that boundary a little bit then it will find a couple of uh, the points uh, around the perimeter of that room and then uh, it will took those points and basically copy that uh, number of the points according to the z uh, according to the z uh, axis uh, and with the step which you define if you have like 200 millimeters for the height uh, of the tile you will need to add a couple of millimeters for the gap and basically that's it so this is uh, probably the most complicated script from those five scripts uh, and it's not fully uh, adjusted you don't have a user interface and you cannot choose from the user interface uh, what will be the tile dimension but of course if you need that uh, I can customize this script to fit your needs uh, I didn't need that I will do this probably only once only this time I did lock uh, that tile uh, dimension um, and I did finish with this project so for me that's it but if you need customization of those scripts or you want to do it you can download those scripts from my website and you can continue working on them but okay so uh, the script will took a boundary of the room it will offset for the thickness uh, of the tile then you have my logic uh, how you will need to find all those points around the perimeter uh, and i will have three millimeters of the gap then you will have a lot of different uh, nodes in order to distribute uh, those points uh, along the z axis in order to have uh, all those points for different heights uh, because you will start uh, from the ground and over here for this room i have a height of uh, 2.6 meters so uh, again i also in the z direction i need to have three millimeters gap so and i will have uh, tile uh, dimensions 600 by 200 so also on those 200 i will add uh, three millimeters for the gap then when i find uh, the points uh, i will everywhere where i can put uh, just this original uh, dimension of the tile i will put that dimension then i will need to calculate all the lengths uh, which are not uh, populated with all those main tiles so over here we have 600 by 200 but for example in every corner you will need to have some different uh, dimension of the tile and for that different dimension i also wanted that the dynamo create this type So now we need to calculate the length of all those new uh, tiles um, types and over here basically we will say uh, family type duplicate so we will took what is the family type from the other side we will calculate which new types we need to have and, and we will automatically create those new types. and we will do that couple of times and over here the script basically ends that is the first script uh, second script it's a very small script which uh, the only thing that script need to do is actually to find a collision between the tiles in the active view and some other elements i didn't complicate uh, too much over here because it's, it's a simple script and uh, i did use like the core of these scripts is di uh, is this bimorph node 
element intercept other element basically so let's let's again run this script so for all elements which we have in our active view uh, we have different elements but also we have a lot of of our tiles and now we want to find uh, over here basically all elements which have tile uh, in the family name uh, those will be uh, elements at the import at the outport will be all other elements then we will compare if we have uh, interception or clash between those elements and if we have we will list just those tiles and we want to find unique numbers so over here it's a 67 over here it's a 56 and then we will color those elements third script has only four nodes basically when you did a review all those clashes and you want to reset those colors you will pick up all the elements and you will reset uh, graphic overrides and that's it Uh, for the floor I have uh, in the family name and in the family type this string uh, which will tell me later when I want to separate different tiles uh, what is the floor tile, what is a wall tile. Uh, for the wall tile I don't have anything over here, it's just tile but for the floor I will take a look from all tiles which I have in the project, I will just list to those items which have in the name floor tile I will pick up everything I will uh, then convert those string to numbers so it will be 429 uh, multiply with uh, 200 uh, and then I will do that for the each tile and I will have total area of uh, the floor which needs to cover with the tiles uh, for the wall I will take a look of this material and then I will group all those tiles by the material and then I will calculate the total area. So we want to find all generic models over here from all elements which we have we want to search uh, where we have uh, the name which includes floor some of those elements will have that uh, then uh, we have floor tile and dimension we want to split that uh, so over here we did took dimensions now again we want to split those dimensions we need to multiply uh, width and the height of each tile uh, in order to find the total area so over here we will have a width, over here we will have a height, uh, we will convert string to numbers, we will divide everything with uh, 1000 in order to convert millimeters to meters, then we have square meters for each tile and then we will just uh, sum everything together in order to have a total area of floor tiles. Similar thing will also go for the wall tiles, but over here we have a couple of extra steps. One of those extra steps is to uh, the group uh, those uh, elements by the material, because we want to know the total area of one material and total area of uh, different material. So over here we will group the tiles by the material, so instead of one list we will have basically two lists because we have two different materials. Then we need to split uh, that string. So we need uh, to have just uh, numbers in order to calculate area. Over here it's a width. Uh, over here we will need to have a height everything need to be in the meters so uh, the first uh, list will have uh, the 
elements for the first material second is to have elements for the second material over here we can follow uh, what is the first part is the second material and over here we have a sum with those numbers and that is it basically with all those grids thank you for watching bye